We now have a student on the phone from UCF where there have been reports of a possible gunman near the UCF library. We understand student Derek Lowe is on the phone right now. And Derek, tell us exactly where you are on campus. Uh, we understand you are close to where police are responding right now. Uh, hi, Lisa. Um, I'm in between the reflection pond and the library. I'm about 75 feet from the front door of the library uh, where the police are guiding the front door. Um, there's about at least 1,500 students, maybe 2,000 students that are evacuated right now outside the library, um, along to go with at least 12 to 15 cop cars, marked and unmarked. Okay, and were you in the library, and were you one of the students who was evacuated, or are you just happening to see all of this unfold? Um, no, I have, uh, there was actually a friend of mine, uh, he messaged me on Facebook, and a bunch of other people, to, all of us, to get out of the library. I wasn't in the library at that moment. I was on my way to the gym. Um, but I, I have a journalism background, and I was, um, you know, just more interested to see what's going on, obviously, something that's big. Um, and the gym is right next to the library, so I thought I would drive over just to see what was going on. Uh, and, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how that started. And, and what are students being told right now by the authorities on campus? Um, as far as I know, they're, they're not really uh, speaking to students. Um, they sent out, the university sent out an alert that there was a possible uh, gun, uh, Middle Eastern woman or man inside the library. Um, but other than that, everyone's just kind of sitting outside waiting around. Derek, this is Ginger Gadsden. Can you tell me what the, the tone and the mood was as those students were coming from the library? I understand that this is finals week and the library may be more packed than usual? Uh, yeah, so during finals week, yes, um, the library is packed so full usually that it's almost impossible to find a table or a seat if you get here anytime after 8 or 9 uh, a.m. Uh, and it's usually packed all day. Um, when I got here, I saw a swarm of students coming outside uh, before the cops had even got here, um, and then another when they were evacuating everyone out. But it still seems pretty relaxed. Um, it's not like people were running outside of the library. From what I understand, they didn't make a big announcement on the uh, library intercom or anything like that. It was just, you know, the police went in, they started yelling to get out, uh, and students, you know, came out almost in a lackadaisical manner, it seems like. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a huge, huge sense of urgency as we're looking at these live pictures. I mean, we see some students uh, appear to be skateboarding right in front of the library right now, and a lot of students kind of standing around watching Yeah, I was just going to ask Derek if he felt at, at all in any danger himself at any point. Yeah, so like I said, there's a bunch of students just kind of standing around outside the library, not far at all from the front doors. I see some now that are, you know, within five to ten feet. Um, but there's still, there's still police walking in with assault rifles, you know, fully armed with, you know, yeah. bulletproof vests and, and things of those matters. So like, are they not telling kind of, you to get back any further than just 10 feet with, you know, if, if, they're, if they have assault rifles on them, are they not telling you to get even further back than you are? Um, okay, so when the cops came here, they originally, there were people that were already outside the library, I guess, that had heard about this before the cops had gotten here. Um, and the cops came, they pulled up, and they, they pushed those people back. But then when they evacuated the library, you know, they didn't tell the students to, to go back any further or anything like that. Uh, like I said, there's students that are, you know, five or ten feet from the front door of the library right now. So basically they just wanted people to leave the inside of the library. And you're talking about police on campus. Can you tell us, are you seeing Orange County Sheriff's deputies, or is it all UCF police? What, what exactly are you seeing? Uh, yeah, as of right now, like I said, it's just UCF police. Um, like I said, there's also some unmarked cars, but I'm guessing they're with police as well. Um, and I, I also saw the uh, UCF security management team walk in uh, with some backpacks and things like that. But I haven't seen any, any uh, deputies or, or SWAT members or anything like that yet. All right. Well, Derek, we certainly appreciate your insight, and uh, thank you for not putting yourself in any danger mm -hmm. to get us that information. But just a scary situation happening yeah. on the UCF main campus uh, right now, especially during finals week, mm -hmm. where the library is packed with students. And he, he said sometimes there is a wait to get in if you mm -hmm. aren't there early in the morning. So we're continuing to follow this breaking news, and we'll have more on the other side of this break. And we're also getting some new, some fresh new video, and we'll bring that to you as well.